in um, statistics, um, there is something called the normal distribution. So a normal distribution is the data evenly spread out. So it's a normal curve in a symmetrical bell-shaped curve. So as you can see, this rises up, comes down in a bell-shaped curve. Now there's a couple things I wanna to talk to you about. There's some symbols. Everybody needs to be with you paying attention. Okay, it's important. Um, this symbol right here, uh, it's not perfect, but it's kind of like an oval or a zero shaped with a line that's flat coming out of it. This is the symbol for standard deviation. And again, standard deviation is the average distance, any data value <clears throat> is from the mean. Okay. So mean, by the way, has a symbol. It's X with like a kind of like a repeating sign over it, or it's this U shaped that looks like that. Okay, so these symbols are new symbols for you. So there's mean. Those are two ways to represent mean. Notice how here, I gotta get different colors for this. Notice how right here is the symbol for mean. So your mean is actually going to be placed in the middle and that's even horribly written. Your mean is going to be placed in the middle of your bell-shaped curve. So now I need to talk to you about the aspects of this bell-shaped curve. The total under the curve is one, or we can say 100%, because as you notice, these are all percentages. You need to realize that percentages need to be converted to decimals. So that means that um, like 15% or 0.15% is gonna end up being, I'm gonna write them above them. Point, so I'm gonna do 0.15% is two spaces over. Written as a decimal, right? 2.35% is 0 0.0235. 13.5% is 0.135. 34% is 0.34. And then the rest are the same. So you'll notice in this curve, if I add up all of these numbers, 0 0.15, 2.35, 13 and a half, 34, 34, 13 and a half, 2.35, 0.15, I get 100%. So all of this shaded region makes one or 100%. So that's part A. 68%, look at right here. This 34 plus 34 is 68%. See that? Um, The lines, let's talk about those lines. See how there's lines that divide? These lines are, are standard deviation lines. So I've got my mean taking away one standard deviation. I'm gonna say that again, you guys need to watch. This right here means mean minus one standard deviation. My, right here, my pencil, mean take away two standard deviations. My mean take away three standard deviations. So these lines are separating these sections. Then when I go to the right, that's why there's a minus one, minus two, minus three. Here, 
I have a, my mean plus a standard deviation, my mean plus two standard deviations, and the mean plus three standard deviations. Okay. So every section means you're adding a standard deviation or you're subtracting a standard deviation. Now remember how standard deviation is a value. We found standard deviation yesterday and the day before. So it says 95% lies within two standard deviation. Let me do a different color. 95%, let's color coat this all so that everything's clear. 95% lies within two standard deviations. That's gonna be here at the 13 and a half and the 13 and a half. That's gonna be 95%. 99.7 lies within three standard deviations. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm gonna go one line over, two line over, three lines over. And I really need to make this small. Start at your mean in the center. Go one section over, two section over, three sections over. Three to the left, three to the right. That's what this means. Within three standard deviations, three to the left and three to the right. 99.7. And then guess what? This 0.03 that's left over, the 0.03 comes from 0 0.0015 and 0 0.0015 added together. Zero, ah, it's, Zero, zero, 003. Okay. So, no, it's not. It's point zero 003. So I have too many zeros there. Okay. Sorry about that. There's point 0.3 left. Obviously, 90, 100 minus 99.7.3. And that comes from the 15% and the 15%, 3%, 0 0.3%, okay? All right, so now, um, let's read. Uh, three, point three percent left over. This is like super confusing all this I wrote over here. So I'm just gonna, oh, it's, it's hidden. Let's do that. All right, 3%, 0.3% turns out to be 0 0.003. So the standard normal distribution is the normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So if, that's why the zero is in the middle and then I have a one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. Um, and a standard distribution notation, N normal, zero comma one. If a variable X has any normal distribution, this is my mean comma standard deviation. The first order pair is my mean. The second order pair is my standard deviation. Okay, so it's mean comma standard deviation. Percentile. A percentile is the percentage of the values. So I have like right here, these percentages, 34%, 13.5%, 2.35%, okay? All that. 
um, it is equal to the total percentage. So there's going to be a hundred percent or one shade in the shaded area. Okay. The Z score is the value of number, how many standard deviations? How many standard deviations? So this is gonna be, I'm gonna explain everything in this formula. X is my data value. Once again, that is my mean, the U shaped is my mean. And how about green? And this, which I'm, is my standard deviation. So in a math problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be given word problems today. And in these word problems, what we're doing is we are finding out, um, I'm gonna ask you questions like, how many, like what percentage of things are between this? How much is within a data set? So um, I have four examples that we'll do. So I know this is a lot, I just poured a lot of information on you. I know, I know. Okay, so we're gonna do some samples and I'm gonna go through and label everything, make everything super clear. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's read it first. The price of sandals is normally distributed with a mean of $36. That means my mean is $36. So I'm gonna put that my mean is 36. With a standard deviation of $9. That means every line is $9 difference, every line. Take away nine, take away nine, take away nine, take away nine. To the right of my mean, add nine, add nine, add nine. So my standard deviation is nine. I'm just gonna put SD, okay? If my mean, oh, what percent are between $18 and $72? Well, I don't see any 18 and 72 here we have to label our bell curve. So if the mean is $36, the mean always goes in the middle. My mean is in the middle. This is $36. And it's really better, sorry to do this to you, but I'm gonna have you write it like this. So turn your paper, please. My mean is 36. If it says plus a standard deviation, plus two standard deviations, plus three standard deviations, take away a standard deviation, minus two standard deviations, minus three standard deviations. What's my standard deviation? Oh, it's nine. Okay, up by nine, 36 plus nine. My next line is gonna be labeled 45. 45 plus nine, 54. 54 plus nine, 63. And I even have one more I can put, 72. Just going up by nines because every line is a standard deviation. My standard deviation is nine. 
So nine, 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 every section is nine. So this is my positive going upwards. Going downwards, I have 36 take away nine, 27. Take away another nine, 18. Take away another nine, nine. Take away another nine, zero. So I have labeled my bell curve based on the information given. Okay, so my graph is labeled. Let's do a little reminder. This is 34%, this is 34%. 13.5, these are percentages, which means I'm gonna have to change them to decimals. 2.35, over here is 13.5. This is the percentage of the bell curve in each section. 2.35, this is point, oh my gosh, I need a better mechanical pencil. I think this is like, 0.5 lead, but it sure feels like 0.1 lead breaks so easily. Okay. Now that I've labeled everything, I can now answer the question. The question is, what percent were priced between $18 and $72? So between 18 and 72, I'm just adding up all of the, between 18% and 72, I'm adding up. Remember this from here to here to the end is 50%, is it not? Isn't that half of the bell curve? So half of the bell curve is 50%, the other half is 50%. So, 0.15 plus 2.35 plus 13.5 plus 34 equals 50. So again, half of my third half of my curve, 34 plus 13 and a half plus 2.35 plus 0.15. That equals 50%. So here's what I'm gonna do between $18 and $72. I have Well, do you see from 72 to 36 is 50%? Right? 50% plus this 34 plus this 13.5. I'm adding up the percentages between 18 and 72, 13.5 plus 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15. All of those add up to 97.5% of my sandals are priced between 18 and 72. Right? So I'm labeling my bell curve and then I am looking at certain parameters. These parameters were between 18 and $72. Okay. I wanna look at number two. Here we go. The weight of strawberries packed in a medium sized container was normally distributed with a mean of 
my middle number is 16.18. My mean sixteen point one eight. My standard deviation is point three four. Um, so every, and you know what, there is something that I wanted to, a vocab word that I really needed to make sure that you heard, um, back here, all of this information right here, A, B, C, D, this is called the empirical rule. And that is an important vocab term. But basically what it means is all of the data underneath my bell curve is represented by sections and certain percentages. All right, back to the strawberries. Every standard deviation is 0.34. That means every line I'm going to add 0.34, 0.34, 0.34 or every line, I'm gonna take away 0.34, take away 0.34, take away 0.34. So, here we go. If I'm going to add 0.34 plus 0.34 minus 0.34 minus 0.34, right? That's my standard deviation. That's how it changes. Every section goes up by, the standard deviation goes up by. So here it is, 16.18 plus 0.34 is 16.52, let me sharpen. 16.52 plus another 0.34 is 16.86 plus another 0.34 is 17.2. Then 16.18 minus 0.34 is 15.84. You guys all with me still copying this down? 15.84 minus 0.34, 15.5. Minus another 0.34, 15.16. Okay. So now I've labeled everything and it says, oh, you know what you also might want to do it again? Just so you have everything, 34%. But let's change it to decimals this time. 0 0.34, 0 0.34, 0 0.135, 0 0.135. Point zero. So basically, you're moving two spaces over, right? Um, point zero two three five. Okay, let's look at the question. If you randomly choose two medium sized containers of strawberries, what is the probability that both of them, probability means that we're gonna multiply the two containers together. Okay. 
What is the probability that both of them weigh less than 15 and a half? Okay, less than 15 and a half is right here. Uh, let's do it in green. This is less than 15 and a half, and I wanna go less than. So it's gonna be 0 0.0, so I'll do the probability of one container less than 15.5 ounces is the 2.35, which is 0 0.0235 plus 0.15%, which is 0 0.01, uh, point zero zero one five. So I'm just adding up these two sections right here. One, two. And you can do that on a calculator. Point zero two three five plus point zero zero one five. This section and this section. These two right here. Or it's actually shaded under here, right? All these shaded right here. It's not shaded up there ever. Is 0 0.025. So I look at the data. Where is it less than 15.5? Oh, in this shaded section, 0 0.0235 and 0 0.0015. I just add those two together. But the probability of two containers, remember I picked two containers. I multiply probability, I'm gonna multiply the two data together. My data is 0 0.025 times 0 0.025. Here it is, 0 0.000625. That's the probability. Very, 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 very small chance. So you're labeling your bell curve you are using the numbers underneath that, which are the empirical rule, all those percentages, and you're adding them together based on what is it asking you. Okay, I'm gonna give you number three for homework and four. Three means you have to label a curve and I'll start it for you. You're doing number three and number, that's too low. Number three and number four for homework. Your middle line is gonna be your mean, 500 days. And then you're gonna go up and down by the standard deviation. Every line is up by a standard deviation and down by a standard deviation. So you're only doing three and four for homework. Well, let me stop the recording real quick.